folks, Jordy here for Premiere Basics and you've made a short film or some other creative work and now you want to edit a trailer to promote it and invite people to watch. Well, here are five steps that you should follow to make your trailer stand out. I'm going to take my own short film as an example since it actually doesn't really have a trailer yet. Now, short films are short, <laughs> so we can't go as in-depth as feature film trailers. So that's why we're going to start the trailer by instantly showing the problem. This will immediately tell what the film is about without going into spoilers, of course. In my case, it's the main character who's taken hostage and is stuck in the trunk of a car. I let it start slowly and then add some jump cuts to speed things up. A jump cut is where you simply take a piece out of your shot and so the action jumps from one clip to another. Oftentimes, jump cuts are distracting and really bad, but if you have a good reason for it, this editing technique is very powerful. We're gonna bring this stuck in a trunk to a climax and then show the title of the film. This should reflect on what we've just seen. That's our intro. Step number two, tension. This is where the story of the trailer starts. Show something slower, which gives the audience some time to breathe. Something that creates tension. A great way to draw the viewer into the story as they want to see what the tension is leading up to. You're creating curiosity. Curiosity is the strongest element in a trailer. In trailers, it's oftentimes very hard to tell the story without spoiling anything, which is why I really like to work with a voiceover. You can write out some extra context which could help to create even more curiosity. The biggest cliche is to start with in a world. I think today that only works for comedies. For my film, I wrote a couple of sentences that simply gave more context to what's going on. I recorded my own voice so that I could check timing while editing and once I was confident, I hired a professional voiceover talent from Voices. Big thanks to them for also sponsoring this video. Voices is the number one biggest marketplace for voiceovers and audio production and they have made it super easy to find the right voice for your work. You can start off by posting a job job and you choose what kind of service that you're looking for. You give the project a title and continue with providing more information of what you're looking for. So I'm looking for a narrator who speaks North American English. We could even choose an accent, gender, the age of the talent and more. I can then go ahead and give more information about the actual voiceover text. Not only I submitted the text in here, but I also uploaded my own voice recording as a reference. I really suck at doing voiceovers. You think you can escape. Get the upper hand. But it could really help to make it clear what kind of intonation or pacing you want. Next, you set a deadline for the project, where you're going to use it, if it's advertised or not. This makes sure that you get the correct usage license. And finally, you can choose a budget. Simply hit post job and you'll notice that within minutes, you'll start receiving auditions. Post Posting a job like this is completely free. Almost everyone who was interested in this project already recorded the voiceover that I asked for. So I could simply play back each one, hear the exact voiceover that I need and choose from there. And this is what I find so amazing about voices. Pick one and the voiceover talent will then go ahead and make the final recording. If you have any feedback from their edition or additional information, you can provide that of course. Now I got my voiceover back within a couple of hours and it was super good from the first take. You can request changes, but I didn't have to. Voices kept my payment safe. After I approved the voiceover, I released the funds to the talent. So I can highly recommend that you check out Voices if you ever need a voice talent. You can click the first link in the description down below to sign up right now. Now, I don't want this voiceover to be over the entire trailer. I'll edit that in in some parts to keep it more dynamic. So after the logo, we've edited a slower part. We're slowly going to build that up to a climax, the third step. This will be the reason why people want to see your film. You want to take the energy of your edits to bring the most epic parts to your trailer. We've talked about jump cuts before and how we can speed things up using that technique. Now we're just going to jump between actions. These could be different shots. You want to show a lot, cut super fast, but at the same time, you're actually showing nothing. Like, I have this shot here of the main character who's looking over his shoulder. I mean, it's not that dramatic in the film, but I am gonna make it very dramatic in the trailer. But your film doesn't have to reflect 100% on the trailer. 
and I'll look for more actions like these footsteps. I might want to go back to the first scene and show the character being stuck in the trunk again. Now this is something that you shouldn't do, but in my case the story is about this repetition, so it could work. So without spoiling too much I'm going to add those first shots in there anyways. It might confuse the viewer and make them even more intrigued. We've reached the climax, the viewer is sitting at the tip of their chair and really want to see that movie now. So let's add a sherry to the cake in step number 4. After the climax we show one last image, which reveals something that we haven't seen before. Now this could be a small spoiler, but keep it vague. In the final shot you should really convince the viewer to go and buy tickets to watch your film, or at least that's what we hope for. So the last and fifth step is the call to action. Show where people can watch your film and when to expect it. Keep it simple, don't put too much information in here, keep it to the essentials, the call to action. You can always add an extra slide after this with a bunch of text of the people who worked on it, but your main call to action should be simple. And putting these five steps together should give you a trailer like this. Hello? Ah! Hello! You think you can escape? Get the upper hand, be in control. <laughs> you don't even know your own name. Face reality, Gregory. You're stuck. <laughs> Now you've seen the call to action, go watch my film. Big thanks to Voices for their support, check out the first link in the description down below for more information, and big thanks to you for watching, and as always, stay creative. Now here on my left side guys, I've got a playlist with more video editing tutorials, so definitely check that out. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe of course.